Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. So, right now, I need to do some inventory management. And to do that, I actually want to go to my stash, which is in my new property, my Corvo Bianco vineyard that I was given as part of this contract. Uh, real estate granted to the Witcher by the Duchess. You can catch some rest and relaxation here between contracts. I'm going to go check that out. I mean, we haven't even gone and looked at that yet. Last time we saw that place, it was, uh, you know, there was a vampire murdering people in there. So, basically, we're just going to take off running. Um, get away from all these people who are being very noisy. And let's go check out our new property. It's pretty close to the tourney ground, so I'm not really going to worry about Roach. Um, we can probably just make our way fairly simply across country. Also, it doesn't hurt us to take a look at the countryside around. We might pick up a few undiscovered locations to go check stuff out at. Maybe even wander across some monsters we can fight. But we'll see. Who's that? Oh, there's a peasant down there. Oh, the, I've actually got, like, servants? What the hell? Oh, you're enjoying yourself there? Okay, cool. Wow, I've actually got, like, servants as well, and that's crazy. That does help, because previously it was covered in blood and bodies. Not too many kings, excuse me. Hello. Yeah, if you're going to talk about me, you know, be polite. I shall sink you a song. Please don't. Two, one, two, three, okay, no, they're going to be all noisy, aren't they? Okay, so have they cleared up downstairs? We could use one around here. Looks like, actually. I'm still confused, because it looked like there was a passage behind there. But, uh, ooh. Ooh, we've actually got a bunch of loot down here. Okay, well, let's loot my own cellars in that case. This stuff wasn't here before. Okay, let's grab all this stuff and then we can go do some inventory management because we need to find out where that stash actually is. We've got some crafting supplies which are pretty handy. Uh, it does look like they have tidied this place up properly, have it, isn't it? Anything over here? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, this is actually worthwhile coming down to the cellar because there's just so much stuff. Noticeably a lot of uh, a lot of alcohol, but that does make sense as this is a vineyard. So, I shouldn't be too surprised by that, should I? I wonder if there's anything up there. Probably not. Oop, no, I'm walking to wall. It's kind of dark, I can't quite see where I'm going. Oh, hang on, what was that? Was that a note? Or some, just some paper? It would, tell, it would say if it was a note, I'm just going to guess it was a bunch of paper. Man, so much booze. That's rather nice. Okay, so I guess my stash is in the main house up here. Now, we couldn't get in here before. Oh! <gasps> I have a major domo! Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as major domo of Corfo Bianco. <gasps> I have a butler! I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Okay, yeah, tell me, tell me more about my property. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colourful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great-great-great-great-grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. 
Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Yeah, cool. Ooh, yeah, let's have a tour. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. The That's servants' cool. quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. Makes sense. Cool. How many staff have I actually got? Never had staff before. That's a new. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful. Especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now either. Something's in the wind. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. The innkeeper's boy got so sauced the other day, he tried to stick an egg back up a hen's hiney. Why? That's the rock. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest a attending a bolus for the here. first time oh, and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching oh, the wisdoms of Lebioda. I think if I landed in a well and survived and found it full of wine, I'd be pretty surprised and well, content to consider that a miracle. Monsieur Bolius's wife Nina kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. I could go for that. I'm sensing that there's a possibility of upgrades to this place. Madame Nina planted diminutive 
delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the sense of uh, upgrades. Which would be nice, especially if they're functional upgrades. I like functional upgrades to properties like this. Of wine, my wife won't know they're mine. Interesting, Ford. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. That would make more sense than an additional wine cellar. Yeah, definitely upgrades. Cool. Women and chaps, the more you beat them, the better they are. The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the um, mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Cool. What's next? I mean, we've already been down there. I've already, like, stolen. Well, no, actually, no. I was going to say I've stolen all the stuff down there, but it's actually it's my stuff. I've just collected it. Only a place is going to be weird. I'm going to be able to come here and pick stuff up and not see, steal the it. The facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Definitely can see our way to doing that, I think. Yeah, no, we've actually never got to look inside this place before. So what have we actually got? And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Hmm. Cool. Okay, we can definitely remodel this place. Uh, let's have a look at the options. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Um, okay. I think well, let's start work on the house. Let's get the house nice and then we'll work on the grounds. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armour and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Okay. 5,000 coin. Yeah, that is half my current money. Okay, maybe not right now. Hmm. Need to think it over some. I, mean, I, I definitely want to do that. Of course. As the venerable Lady Eve Knibli would so quaintly put it, the rash oft contract rashes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's... Let, I want to actually just go look around this that's place. That's all for now, BB. Thanks. Oh, we're going to call him BB. Okay, that's kind of cool as well. I can't believe we have a butler. That's that's awesome. So we've got like a little dining room in here. Okay. Okay, BB's going to be standing around in here. I guess that's where he's going to be standing most of the time. So, I've got bedrooms and I've got a kitchen somewhere so is this okay so this is the bedroom it's small but it's serviceable I can work with that uh, ooh and there's apparently it's all oh, okay place trophies ooh ooh okay I can actually put trophies around here as well that would be my stash 
There was something else there as well, I swear. Ooh, hang a painting. I don't... <gasps> I can hang my shield! <gasps> I can hang my shield up! Oh my god, guys, I'm going to freak out about actually modifying this place. Okay, I know that has no functional benefit, but that is kind of cool. So, I didn't like it in Dragon Age Inquisition that I could upgrade the... I could upgrade the look of the place for quite a lot of resources, but there was no real benefit from doing that, that I, that I at least I could find. But I can actually just like hang my shield up. I, oh god, I've got, I can put spare weapons up as well. <gasps> actually, okay, that doesn't cost me anything. I don't get any benefit from it, but I've got a bunch of weapons that I don't need. I was just going to sell them or scrap them or something. But I can actually like hang up some of the nicer ones around here. You don't know how happy that makes me. Oh my word. Oh, is this the kitchen? Maybe? Yeah, this has got to be the kitchen because something's bubbling. Yeah, it looks like we've got stew for dinner tonight. Oh, that's so cool. So this is just all on one level? Is there stairs? Okay, no, it's... Oh, okay, it's actually fa it's actually hollow inside. Interesting. I thought this was going to be a multi-story kind of event. So, bedroom, kitchen, dining room... No, no, I, okay, I tell a lie. There is actually an upstairs. Oh, this is the spare bedroom. Okay. What can I do in here? Okay, I can't do anything up here yet. But maybe once we've renovated, we get to do more stuff? Oh, that's so cool. That is so goddamn cool. And an armor stand. Okay, actually, I have a set. Of, I have a full set of armor that I am not using. Um, yeah, I want to put up my my heavy armor from the tourney. Oh, that's so cool. Can I, and I can just grab, yeah, and I can just take it back off there if I need decide I want the heavy armor. Oh, my word. Oh, okay, I'm having a proper nerdgasm about this. That is awesome. What else can I do? I think there's more places to hang paintings. can put up weapons. Yeah, there's a painting spot in here. Do I want to hang my shield up in the dining room? I could totally hang my shield up here. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm... I'm gonna. I need to actually go do some inventory management and possibly hang a few weapons up around the place. But that is pretty awesome. I I like that a lot. That makes that makes me so very happy. I can't even describe. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here though. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you later for the next one of these. I think we've got a couple of quests we need to look into. I'm probably gonna be looking to do uh, the. Finding the Master Blacksmith so we can get the Grand Master Witcher gear kind of sorted out early on. And then there's also some guy, a sorcerer, who was in investigating Witcher mutations. And we can improve our current batch of Witcher mutations, I believe. So those two are probably things I'll like to do first, if we can. But we'll have to see. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you later for the next one. Bye.